Hey guys, I already got this piece from Harbor Freight together. Dying of sweat, but that's my problem. Coming out here in the middle of the day. Uh, yeah, it's all right. I got it for a hundred bucks. This is the uh, lower grade one, though, in, in general. Biggest thing is they're using rivets to hold the damn hinges and they're loose. Uh, so this baby has a lot of travel. And the main problem was, I don't even think it's on the video. Let's see, right here. When you open dirt, this would drop down. And then when you close it, it's a pit. This top piece of angle iron. No matter where you switch them, here to there, there to there, still hit. You could lift up, loosen the screws, take the slack out, tighten it all up, tighten it up. But you know when you put, I'm particularly going to be putting heavy shit. If this thing says the top will hold 125, it's going to hold 200 for me, easy. And this shit's going to only slide down and start hitting again. So I was playing, bending up these corners. It wasn't working. I had to take it off and grind this square, this edge down about three sixteenths. And now I got to do it to this end, this side. Now, I don't know what I did, but it's like going up on a ramp on this side. That's good. Uh, I know what it is. And they hit. You could open the other one by fucking whacking it too hard but that's it so that's what you're gonna have to do if it's hitting here and you don't want it to hit because when you open it up it drops down you got to take it back off and grind because you can take the slack out but it's only going to either push this whole arm downward on those two bolts or down on these six bolts oh and the nut inserts i don't know about you but i'm not that for that strong and I was able to turn a few loose by accident because I'm throwing a lot of weight in it and I wanted these screws tight apparently the nut certs aren't riveted in tight enough so that's another issue other than that for a hundred dollar bill I'll deal with it all day long I might buy another POS it's a shame I can't afford that but they sell a oh shit I forgot the name from another $200, $250 one to a $400 and something one, which is large, that has the sliding tops. Because I don't know about anybody, maybe I'm the only one who cares, but if I take shit apart, and I got nuts and bolts, carburetor base sitting here from a Holly 750 double pumper without a choke, and I got the jets out and the freaking floats out, I don't, and I need to get a tool under here, this is nice, because all you got to do is move the base over here and the shit over here and get your stuff. I got a real nice lift-up toolbox or tool cart from Harbor Freight also. It's really nice. It's heavier than this gauge. But just recently, and that's why I got fed up looking for these, uh, I had to take everything off I had on the lid. Because I don't know about you, man, my shop is loaded. Project after project. So wherever there's a flat spot... I'm putting something, but if I have to move that stuff every time to get in and get the toolbox, I will actually take that toolbox and sledgehammer the shit out of it in my driveway, because I don't need it then. This, this concept is good, but if you're using just regular cabinet rollers, it'd be nice if they used linear bearings, solid rod coming out, you know, but shit, I'm worried about 500, that'll be a grand. Anyway, this is Taurus checking out. If you buy it and it hits, grind this damn thing and then put some epoxy uh, paint or some paint up on the edge. Or if you're anal, take it the hell back off, clean it, and paint the edge. That's not happening with me. All right, checking out tours. Like and subscribe. Have a blessed day. All right, guys, I'm back. Just so you can see the edge. I just 
took this side off. Make sure I got the top and I'm gonna go grind this whichever way you have. 16th or uh, eighth of an inch down. Reinstall, but um, cover your little rubber mats because if they were glued down, it's not glued anymore because of the sun. Let me make sure this is the right side. Okay. I know, I know. Got too much stuff. The house is too damn small. But here's the cabinet. Did a nice top. And then I had half of this shit here. And some other carburetor on the other half. And uh, had to move it all. And that just pisses me off. It's stupid as hell. Because you need... Look, my beautiful crappy organ needs to be here. This stuff needs to be here. My workbench is full of the work tool station, you know? God. So this is what I did it on. It's not, I should have did it on my uh, grinder. But I'm doing it on this sander with... A little guide ain't doing much because... It's not doing much because this is long. And no matter what I do, unless I clamp it to this little thing, I'm wiggling it everywhere. All right. And this is the pads from another video that I put on that are still under the vise. Uh, when I'm done, I have to put a, where's that, this notepad in between there. Tilt this bitch up to hold pressure on it so this pad will even stay there. Or I would have found it on the ground with shit all over the back pad. And you'll hear this sounds out of balance because the damn disc slid down. That's what sucks. I've been moving this plate so it doesn't stay square. True. Oh, God. Checking out, man. It is so hot in shit, Virginia. Humid. It's worse than Jersey. Take care. Hey, folks. This is Yvonne on Mark's channel. Just letting you know that I'm out here trying to shade our plants. The sun is relentless. It's horrible. A lot of our vegetables are getting um, burnt, um, burnt leaves. So uh, this is my feeble attempt. 
it's great on the smaller pots though so i will keep you apprised hopefully they will do well through this heat and we'll be reaping our vegetables sooner than later okay thank you all right where are you going now up front yes i'm going out front now all right okay take care all right I'm gonna bolt this other one on and that'll be it man there's no sense watching it and that little stumble was me falling off a crate that got overheated in the sun and i sat my fat little butt on it all right checking out torso